Hello everybody, I am Death Savior and welcome to Realm of Rulers. For this is gonna be a little bit of a tutorial video if I could speak. For those who may be new to Realm of Rulers or just starting, or those who might not know this or that. So as you can see, this is the newest update with the one point or the 0.17.1 hotfix. But you can hit play and you can start a new save. Or as you can see, I have some that are loaded that I can load up. This is my current one. But this is the new load, and load system, so you can see. But for now, I'm going to go through some other stuff before we get into all that. In the, we have the experimental multiplayer, which as of right now, it's kind of like a port, port forward thing. So you can actually play with friends and things like that using your IP address. In the options, you, have, you can change your resolutions to whatever. I'm not going to go any bigger than this right now because I don't think it, I can really support any of that on e any of my monitors. But as you can see, you can change the 3D rendering scale, the field of view. You can change that, mouse, mouse sensitivity. I turned mine up just now just to see. I do want to turn music back on for inside the game. But you have the depth field, so you can, if you don't, you can turn that off. The head bob thing, if that bothers you, because it kind of, when you're moving, it might mess with your, motion blur might mess with you, you might want to turn that off. You can talk, do the crouch toggle, which crouches control. It'll either, if you use the toggle, it'll keep it, or you can use it so you have to hold it in. I don't know why my detail keeps switching to medium. I'm not quite sure what that's about. I have the auto save function. And now this is new with the multiplayer name. You can enter your name you want whenever you go into a world. But as you can see, you can change between high, medium, low. Shadow quality has ultra. This is, I have set to ultra. View distance, ultra. But you can, you can go through basically and change all these to what you want. I'm going to put that at high. I'm not sure why it keeps changing it to that. Leaderboard. This is like who has the biggest towns. As you can see right now. Zainid. I think is how you pronounce that. Has the biggest town with 308 citizens. And it's 8 days old. I'm not even up there. I've only got like 80 something citizens. I'm probably down here further. Heck man. Okay, I don't even, I'm not even on this. Ah. Thought I wait. Do I not have as many as I thought? <clears throat> yeah, apparently I'm not even in this. But yeah, you can see where you where you rank with your town credits, of course, the people who made it, things of that nature, special thanks, and then of course quit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit play. We're gonna go into a new realm. We will call this. Um, Let's see, we can call it uh, Tutorial. And confirm city name. I do believe they said with the loading screens we're going to be changing some stuff up with those in upcoming builds. As you can see though, um, on the side I guess I can't really do it like that. Let me see if I can... Okay, well, let me... But on the side, it says starting tasks on your right side. That's what it... Basically, it'll help you get started. But you go up, so you hit F, and you get all the stuff that's in this chest. And it has starting notes. I need a simple settlement to begin. I need a storage shed. For some easy food, I can gather some berries. I need to build a wall, a well to provide water for, for my citizens. I need some citizens to work for me. To make new tools, I would need a crafting table. I can remove buildings with the hammer. So that kind of tells you, okay, so I can close that out. But as you can see, oh, there went a deer. There's a couple deer. But yeah, over here, you can see it puts a mark on, a check mark, and now it's green. There's a rabbit. So that one's done. Now, you just let, do your left click. Drag over, drop, to get your items in your taskbar. 
And then you can either scroll wheel through, or you can hit one, two, three, four, five, and six. I scroll wheel because it's easier for me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Guidebook, I'm guessing you can probably, and then, yeah. So that'll put that in there. And then your hammer is to use to destroy things that you build. If you put something you don't like somewhere, you can use it to destroy it. But in the future updates, we've already talked about it with the devs I have. It, when you right click, it will allow you to move things. So that's something that is coming. But okay, so now it tells us it wants us to gather 158 logs. So we go ahead and get our stone axe out come up to a tree all right i need to apparently i need to I mess with that give me one second see i messed with this the mouse sensitivity and now it's way worse i can't i thought that would uh but whatever anyhow so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna collect 150 logs well technically we need to collect what 150 and then 250 so that's 400 logs so we'll go ahead and waste out this uh, pit stone axe and see how much we get but yeah you just hold down left click to swing the axe once it's in your hand and your tap like little hot bar there yeah we hit the 150 mark we're still going we're about halfway maybe a little under half or over half on the durability of the axe okay we hit the 250 o'clock so we're gonna stop all right so now we need the pickaxe and as you can see we can look around okay what's close there we go we got some stone over here so we're gonna go over this way We should use the ASDW to move, which that's pretty self-explanatory. You do, if you look at your health bar, it's very hard. Let me see. If I, okay, if I look up the sky, you can see the green around it. That is your stamina. When you hold in shift, it allows you to run. And your stamina will go down. But it will build up over time. So now we're going to go ahead. When you do stone, you get ore. You'll get iron ore. You'll get coal. You'll get clay. And you'll get stone. So, okay, we gathered the 10 stone. Alright, so now we need to make a simple settlement. To craft things, you need to hit V. V brings up your construction menu. You have housing, you have buildings, you have advanced buildings, and you have resources. So, basically your resources where you're going to get your like water well, your water storage, your cooking stations, food storage, crafting bench, alchemy table, windmill, working woodworking station, market stall, and storage chest. Housing's like your, this is where what we're going to need to build is a simple settlement and then we're going to need to build a, we we'll have to go to buildings here and look for the storage that, because that's also what we're going to have to build. So first off, let's find a location, put it over here, our simple settlement. So, as you can see, if you hit F, it'll, whoops, I meant Z. If you press Z, it'll line it up and it won't look all crooked like this, but what's done is done, it's fine. We'll do it with a storage shed. Okay, now let's put in a storage shed. Put it right back here. So we're gonna go to buildings, storage shed, not enough resources. What do you mean not enough resources? I thought I'd collected all that wood for a reason. You lied to me, game. Oh no, I thought it said I gathered 200. I am losing my mind. Alright, so we didn't gather the 250 oak logs. I'm out of my mind. Don't mind me. But anyhow, we're going to go over there. We're going to gather this. 
the rest of the wood we need here for the 258 logs. I must have looked at the 150 and got mixed up. Don't mind me. Alright, now we got 250 oak logs. Alright, now we can go back over here. And we can put us our... So we press V. Go in here, go to buildings. We have the storage shed. We can click at. Sometimes right now, as you can see, we're having a little issue. Where things do not show up. So... They are working on it to get it fixed. So we just hit X to get out of it. Go back in. Try to create it. There we go. Now if you press Z. You see how it levels it out? So you don't have all that like it was showing. You can use the mouse wheel to move things forward. To bring it closer to you. Q turns it one way. E turns it the other way. So... I mean, those are just little things you can do. And then you press F, and ta-da! And we have our first lumberjack now going out into the world to do what he's got to do. Hopefully he doesn't die because I haven't got any food or water up yet. All right. So now you basically got the start to your city. This is your storage chest for your city. You can go over to it. You can get into it things like that you can move stuff out of your inventory into it right now they don't have a stacking thing so you kind of have to line them up together and drop them in together which i think i had said something about and he said he was going to work on at some point getting a where you can just drop and it'll stack it automatically over here this is your settlement management you can see how many people you have in your city how much food and water you got going on how much is being gathered and how much is being used per 30 seconds. To train, you need to gather what is called barley. To get to get barley, we, we have to find, let me look around here. Uh, here we go, over here. See this really bright green grass? This is how you gather barley. You use any tool and just attack, and just like you're harvesting. I think you can eventually yeah, you can eventually get a sickle, which is what you can use for this, and it's better. I think you, it lasts longer, because this is killing my durability on this axe. Just getting this little bit. And then, to get food, for right now, until we get some cooking stations made, which I just saw one, you know, say right by our settlement. These red bushes have red berries. This is, you collect this to keep your food supply up, until we can get a cooking station going. But, okay, we got that going. Alright, so we're gonna need to collect some more woods. We're gonna need more woods because we're gonna need to make some more stuff. Alright, so that ran out, so we press B to get into our inventory. Let's drag this new, he has the second one over. And we can go ahead and start swinging. So we're gonna go ahead and collect a, as many logs as we need, as we can with this. Because what we're gonna wanna build next is a crafting table. The crafting table, you'll see, I'll go over that once I've crafted so that way you know what you can do with it and things of that nature. But the reason I wanna do the crafting table is because that's how you're gonna be able to make your iron weapons, your stone, or your iron weapons and tools, stone, all your tools and stuff are made through that. Which, if we press V, we can see how many we need. Okay, crafting bench. We need 250 oak logs. And we have 250. Look at that. So we're good to go. So we're going to come over here. Find a good place, I guess. Uh, right here will be fine. So let's go ahead and make us a crafting bench. We'll turn it this way, bring it into us a little bit, and we'll place it down. Now, see, like I said, okay, see, now you can make weapons here, which they have iron sword, steel sword, and tungsten sword. You have your hammer, you can make a torch, empty vial, which I need to make a 
I haven't done that yet. Your sickle, stone, pickaxe. So you can make all different kinds of stuff here. Alright. So now that we got that, we can go ahead and take this. See, we got two coal. And this is our iron. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, if you come over here, which for some reason, I don't know if it's a glitch, but I have to go behind it to get to it. I don't, it, I don't know if it's how the ground is. But this is your furnace. This is where you smelt. So you drag your coal over to the fuel, your iron bar there, and you smelt it. Now, you can make steel from iron bars if you drag it over and use coal and smelt. Now I have steel bar. I mean, I kind of just wasted the one iron bar I had, but I can get some more, so it's not a big deal. How much do we have? Okay, I have 40 barley. So we're going to go ahead and get a miner train. Oh, wait, no, I need more than that. We're going to get a gatherer train, so that way she can go out and get stuff. Now, we want to get a well, water well made. So we got water coming in. So we need... 100 oak logs and 150 stones. So we gotta go out, do some more. Okay, we're starting to get dark. I don't think it's dark enough yet. But this is a good time. As you can see, if you come over to these, it says press F to sleep till day. But as you can see up in the left hand top corner, it says it's not dark enough. So we can't sleep yet. So we're gonna go ahead, collect some more of these logs. We might have to use some of the logs to make a couple iron things once we get this going because I don't know if we're gonna get enough logs plus to make what everything because we're also gonna need to make a cooking station to get food go coming in I'm hoping that we don't run out of stuff before I get this done this cooking station will automatically you don't need to have a cook right now but it'll automatically make it so you're getting more resources like food resources being gathered every so often I think it's 10 per cooking station and 10 per water well which we will see that here soon alright so that's the end of that now I believe there's some rocks right over here okay now it might be dark now let's go try this real quick so we we can see what we're doing because it's raining and it makes it hard to see at night. All right. Yeah, I pressed F. Yeah, okay, here we go. See, now we're going and it's daytime. So it allows you to sleep through the darkness so you can see. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start mining. Get as much stone from this pickaxe and iron ore and stuff from it as we can. I don't think I'm going to get enough of just one. I might have to go through and get the, use the other one. Because, like I said, I'm going to need stone for both the food, I believe, for the both food storage and the water well. We're also going to need to make a water storage, which will also up the amount of water that you can, your town can hold. So let's see how much we got out of that. We have 80 stone. Yeah, we're going to need more stone. So give me this other pickaxe. We have 270, which that may be enough. I'm not sure. but Alright. Let's bring this back out. Let's go ahead. I know it doesn't look like I'm close to the rock, and I'm still hitting it, but we've, until they get, they're working on getting an issue solved where uh, around this area, a lot of the miners come, and they get come to this rock I'm in front of, and they were getting stuck up on top of it, and they were just standing there, not doing nothing, not moving, so they kind of put it, made the, the barrier around the block a little bit bigger so they can't get up on it like that. I'm sure that they'll get the kinks worked out. I do with that in future updates. This is we gotta remember this is an alpha. Okay, so how many? Right, we have 184 stone. Now I believe 
that should be enough to get we only need 150 to get the water well I'm gonna set I'm gonna make the water well right around here so I want it as close as I can to this our storage shed so water well okay I don't want it on the storage shed come down there we go all right so now we have a water well so now we have water being gathered if we go back to our little thing here I crouched yeah, yeah. I was like why do I feel like I'm moving slow I hit control on accident and was crouched but now as you can see it says 10 water being gathered now we need to make a cooking station which if we go back into it press B go back in go to resources cooking station is 200 oak logs and 150 barley well we don't have the barley yet and we need to make some more iron real quick so we're gonna get back into our storage oh wait I have it on me I don't even need to get into my storage but we got as you can see we got barley being gathered so we're gonna go use the forge we're actually gonna get some iron ore being made I only need a couple to make and we have enough to make, I believe, an axe, but not a pickaxe. But, I didn't make the... Wait, yeah, I did. I didn't make the crafting... It's right here. So, we're going to make the iron axe. Which is 175 logs and one iron bar. So, craft. Now we can go get some more logs, real quick, with the iron axe. Each, each tier has more durability, so it takes longer for them to break. I only need, what, 100, I only need 100, I have 95, so I only need to actually hit this tree once. Now I can go make another pickaxe. I don't know why I went way over there when I just had to come here. Right there is, if I would have turned around, there was wood right there. Now we have enough to make the iron pickaxe. So craft, now we have that. So we can go back and as you can see, you can leave your inventory up, but sometimes it does mess with me. Like I can't turn and look, so I close it. All right, so now we can go to these rocks over here because they seem a little closer to me. And continue collecting stone. You're still getting two stone, but it's gonna take longer. I had, and as you can see you're getting more stone compared to when you're using the stone axe because now you're getting coal and clay and iron but in less it seems like in less form so how much did I say I needed for stone and stuff for the okay how much do we need for resources for this cooking Okay, I need a 250. Well, I don't even need this. I need to be collecting more wood. So I shouldn't even use that. Okay, we're right here by a tree. So we're going to collect some more wood. We need 200 oak logs to make a cooking station. I'll go through and show you what the cooking station, once we get it put up, I'll, I'll go. You can do some things with it. It doesn't just give you food for your call. Well, I mean, it does, but, like, you can do other things with it. It's got multi-purpose. If you want to, you can bring up, while you're doing this, you can hit B and bring up your inventory so you can see how much you're gathering of a certain thing. Alright, so there's our 200. Alright, let's go back to base, or settlement, whatever you want to call it. How much do I have gathered right now? Okay, 70 and 15. I need more, so don't attack my storage. So we need to go to wherever that barley was, apparently over here, because that's where the gatherer is. We're gonna help her gather up some barley here. Because I need 150. So we can get a cooking station made and get food being made. Before they start starving. We don't want our colony to starve. That's one thing we don't want. Because 
because they start starving, then they die, and then you're all alone, starting from scratch. It's not a fun time, I promise. I'll probably just get to 150 by myself because we're going, we're almost at 100. The sickle, I believe, is faster to collect barley, but I still think you only get two. probably put the cooking station next to the water well by the uh, whatchamacallit the storage shed okay I believe it's just 150 barley make sure yes okay so now we're not using any of our what she's gathering because we're gonna need that later on anyways all right so we got the water well right here so we're gonna go ahead Put the storage shed next to it. Or not storage shed, but the cooking station. Storage shed's already kind of there. Alright. So now, as you can see, we also just got an achievement. Construct by buildings. So there are achievements. But if you go over and press F to use this, there is eventually a, you'll be, you can cook things in here. So you can just bring it over, put it in, and it has like bread dough and stuff like that. It needs 10 barley, I only have one, so I can't make any bread dough right now. But we got the water well, we got the cooking station. Now, if I go over to my settlement management, you can see I have 10 food being gathered and 10 water being gathered. We might want to go and get some berries just to get the food up to par. So let's go ahead and collect some berries real quick. I'm just not I'm just gonna get some up. I'm not worried about getting the complete berry thing up. And so far this is our basic settlement. We got food coming in, we got two people working. Now you're just working to expand. You're gonna to want to build houses. To, so you, every time you build a new house, it brings it up. I'll go over that real quick here in a second. Let me collect some more. Okay, let me see how much I just collected. Let me see what our food is sitting at. All right, 70. We're okay. That's good for two because we only got two water and two food for 30 seconds, and we got 10 being gathered, so it's gonna come back as fast as it goes out. But if you go in, hit V and go in and you look, it tells you, okay, this house is 600 logs and 200 stone, but it increases your max population by four. Then you have a large house, which increases it by eight. And then a two floor house, which increases it by 10. And then you have a tavern, which will increase your town population by 14. So the more of these you make, the more people you can train. But you have to remember, you need the barley to train it. So you wanna kind of get barley going so you want to have more than one gatherer to get more coming in all right let's see how much we have okay I have a hundred right now okay let's get some more gatherers going for this while we're waiting and then we can get a miner but for now do one two okay yeah three gatherers will be fine because we're going to need a bunch of barley. Because once you get up here, you need lumberjacks. You're going to need miners. And it gets pretty expensive to do that. For it, Now, if we look at this, and let's say we want to black, make a blacksmith. So we're going to the buildings. And see where it says you need 10 oak planks and 20 bricks. To make it oak planks, we are going to need the woodworking station. So... We need a lot of logs and a lot of iron bars. So that's gonna take time to do. But the woodworking station, basically for every 100 oak, oak logs, you get one plank, I believe it is. Which we are not ready for that. As you can see, as they gather things, it comes in, it's put into your inventory here. So. This is where your town, whenever they go to the storage shed, it's going in here. 
See, as you can see, the gatherers, it's going up. So you can see that things are being gathered here. It's already starting to get dark again. Fire doesn't really do anything. I know it's not dark enough yet, so I can't really do nothing with this. I'm going to go ahead and do some collecting. So I will be right back and we'll get some stuff built once I get a bunch of stuff collected. Alright, so instead of sitting there collecting everything, I am in my Forgotten Realms, which is my normal like playthrough recording thing. Let's go ahead and sleep till day. Because I have a lot of stuff already I can show you in this world. Instead of... I mean, I already showed you how you make it and things. But over here, we have the barracks, which is where you hire your guards. And you need 250 barley and an iron sword. So you would have to go to the crafting station, which mine is right here, and craft some iron swords to make get guards. This right here is the woodworking station. This is how you make your logs. You put wood in here, and it's, like I said, 100 logs equals one plank. Which it, it seems like it's a lot, but it's really not, because once you get a bunch of lumberjacks going and stuff, you'll blow through it fine. Here's some small land, like farming plots, and these are farmers. Not sure why this stuff grows, but they will collect like carrots, they'll bake uh, raw potatoes, things like that. Like if I come over here and go in here, my storage chest, as you can see, these are the raw carrots. There's potatoes, there's uh cooked carrots and potatoes, stuff for you to eat, things like that. This is what they're, the gatherers bring back this, they'll plant them, grow them, things of that nature. As you can see, you also, here's an example of these stalls. You can bring things over, bring an item, put it in here, and you can sell it for coins. This is giving me zero coins, I am not going to sell it. But I'm just showing you. Either back in my inventory and my or somewhere way down here because it's been doing this to me. It must be my other my actual inventory, not a big deal. I started down here working also on setting up a wall for defensive things. Here's a gate so we can get out. And I'm gonna set up a perimeter later on in a things soon. I just wanted to get kind of where I wanted to get things started. This is what I mean by they will Yeah, people. Why are you doing nothing? We got a broke one apparently. He's just standing there. But everybody else is working. But right now they're bugged. They don't go back to town like the other people do. It's being worked on. Over here this is the windmill. The windmill allows you to make put wood in here and it'll make sawdust. Now, I this is the alchemy table. I haven't messed with it much, but you can put ingredients in. You need to get, make yourself a vial and you can brew things up. Let me see if I can make what do I need to make a vial. So we need to go back to the crafting station. Ah. This is black, the blacksmith stations. Basically, you make these, and then you hire some blacksmiths, and they will cook your iron bars for you. Empty vial, what do I need? 10 stone and one coal. Oh, we got ton, plenty of that. Yeah, see? Yeah, we have like 300,000 stone and 65,000 coal. I think we have enough to make some empty vials. So, get, we'll make ourselves a couple empty vials.
Okay, so we got some empty vials. Now we need to, I guess, get some ingredients out of here. Not sure what. Let's grab this. This. Grab some cooked carrots. I think these are some cooked potatoes. Oh, no, it's some bread dough. Um, grab some more of these. As you can see, if you know the order of stuff, I'm not quite sure of the order. I'm gonna have to get back with the devs, maybe make an updated video with it for that on what's what. And it looks like I, for some reason, lost all my seeds that were in there. I'm not seeing them in my inventory, or they just got multiplied into something different. But yeah, you can use that to make, I think, po different potions for like stamina and he health and things like that, even though you can eat food. But as you can see, there's this is uh, what the sawdust looks like from the mill. I have yet to make any of the other stuff in this one, like the advanced buildings. But, I mean, as you can see, if I go to my town management, I have 70 food being gathered, 100 water being gathered, I have 300 of each of these, and I have a crap, I have 25 lumberjacks, 14 miners, 3 farmers, 4 cooks, and I can still go up 20 more citizens. So, I haven't even touched how long or how like my citizen count yet so as long as you and I have six gathers so I'm getting barley constantly which is helping out a lot considering I'm now at 175 barley or no 46,000 barley I'm gonna put that back up I need to go back to that and I got a bunch of bricks well and to make bricks this is clay the white you take the coal and the clay, use it in on that. No, I do not want to destroy this. I didn't realize it was on the hammer. But yeah, you uh, use the forge and you make your bricks and stuff in there. Again, here's another, but these are, and here's an example. This is the large house right here. This is a small house, which let's see if I have a, yeah. This is a small house. And then over here, this is the tavern. Which I have some water wells in there and another cooking station. Which I'm surprised it actually let me put that stuff in there. This is the two story house. I think eventually you're gonna be able to put stuff in here. I got I was able to put something down here, but I can't put nothing up here. Like in the second floor yet. But that's that's an example of the two-story house. These are what the water well, water storage looks like. These round barrels, and this is the food storage. These uh, circular ones, like standing ones with the little 
kind of like wolf. And of course, she saw the water wells from the other thing and the cooking stations from earlier. But that's really all there is to it. To recap, I mean, you make, you put, this is your forge, so you're going to do your bricks in there, your clay, or your tongue skin, your iron, you can do through that. And then, and your steel bars, you put your iron bars in there to make them steel bars, which we saw earlier. Your tables, your cooking tables, you can do through there. Uh, you can make your food, you can cook, make bread dough and stuff. But if you have cooks, if you hire cooks, as you see these ones here, they are for some reason going to the same table, but they're still making food and taking it back and putting it in. Again, you're going to use barley. Once you get enough barley, you just click on these to train what you want to train. As long as you have enough room in your citizenship, you should be able to train it. Like, here, we'll go ahead and add some more into my citizens. So, need my barley. And I need to turn back around and come over here. So, let's go ahead and we can train more gatherers let's go ahead and train a couple more miners some more lumberjacks I'm almost to my food being gathered so I can do two let's do three more and we'll get to the 70 food so we're equal and then I can just make some cooking stations to get it to what it needs to be um we will get let's do another farmer and another lumberjack this is something I've noticed as well, which I brought to whenever you train first bring out a farmer saying it doesn't have a plot. But I clearly have over here like six plots or something. As you as you can see, okay, four plots and I only had three, no six. So I have six plots, so there's clearly enough plots for all them to work at. You I kinda have to exit the game and come back. Let me see if it works. I'm going to leave the world and I'm going to come back. Save and quit. And we'll go back in and see if it writes it. Because it usually when I do this, it'll go to the pl plots. So let's load the Forgotten Realms. <laughs> and see if it does... If he does move. See now. There he goes. He's going to the plots. So like I said. When you leave the world and come back. It usually writes to that issue. It's not dark enough to sleep yet. But. We now have a bustling town. We have enough food and water. Being gathered for everybody. You just got to keep an eye on your town count and how much is being gathered I try to keep it either equal usually I try to keep it above so I'll go ahead I probably will end up making a couple more food cooking stations and stuff I do plan on reinventing this place once the uh, tool the hammer tool gets the move option where it can it allows you to pick back up and move because I kind of want to make a whole little thing here like, I want to put these all together in a different location. Like, I might build some walls or something and put... Make a whole storage area for the food things. Things like that with a gate. I'm thinking about doing something like that. But... In my upcoming video... Regular video, not this video. I'm going to be adding more walls so you get to see it, what that's about. And it's kind of hard to judge... Like when I did these ones, hold on, let me see if I can sleep today yet. So that way it'll be brighter out so we can see what's going on. But when I did these ones down this way, I was having trouble lining them up and judging like where they need to be and things. As you can see, it still seems a little off and this one's kind of crooked, but I mean nothing can get through there. 
but it is what it is. I can I can live with that as long as there's not a big enough gap for people to get through. And I'm gonna try to block off as much. I mean, I'm going way up here. I'm gonna probably go all the way to the other side of this, down, way back here, into these trees. And I might have to do some modification through that. And then back over this way, because we can't really go up that. But we'll go through the barley here. But yeah, I'm planning on like blocking off a huge area so I can continue building around here. Because as you can see, my miners or my lumberjacks are coming way down here to get wood. Why? I'm not quite sure when there's trees in my town. They're coming way down there. So I don't want to cut off the tree source that they're using. Heck, that one's way off by himself. Oh, that's a knight. Never mind. That's one of the guards. But. As you've seen, this hopefully this video helps you guys understand some of the th things with Realm of Rulers a little bit. If there's anything I did miss and you're unsure of, um, always you can always come into the Realm of Rulers Discord, which I will put a link in the description of this video, and ask if I if I'm not around, I'm sure Cookies or Lewis or somebody else might be able to help you. This is just something a basics thing this is things i've learned from playing the game for as long as i have i've been with this game since the beginning very great people and doing a very good job for this being an alpha there's so much i mean you have your stuff that's broken but there's more working than broken and it's so it's so like seamless like movement i don't lag even at like high details like the ultra details the full, I like how far back I can see, like I can see the mountains clear back there, like with my field of view being as far as it is, I can see so much, like they've, they've done a very good job with uh, keeping this like balanced, but anyhow, thank y'all for tuning in, I hope this helped you guys out, check out my other Realm Ruler videos, leave a like, comment, you can also comment down below and I can maybe answer your questions or if I get enough too many questions, maybe I'll make another video, a tutorial video. But anyhow, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!